morning from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, a city, a country under fire. It's six o'clock on Thursday, the 24th of February. This is today with Nick Robinson in Kyiv and Simon Jack in London. Our main news this morning, President Putin has announced a major military operation against Ukraine and warned that anyone who tries to interfere will face retaliation. Whoever tries to interfere with us, and even more so to create threats for our country, our people should know that Russia's response will be immediate and will lead you to such consequences that you have never experienced in your history. Uh, loud explosions have been heard in Kyiv and other Ukrainian cities. President Biden has said the world will hold Russia accountable for its unprovoked and unjustified attack. We'll be broadcasting live from Kyiv for the next three hours, bringing you the latest developments in reaction and international reaction here from London. The BBC News this morning is read by Tom Sanders. President Putin has launched a major military operation against Ukraine, ending hopes of a diplomatic solution to the crisis in the region. Speaking on national television, the Russian president said that he was determined to end eight years of conflict involving pro-Russian separatists in parts of eastern Ukraine. He insisted that Russia did not plan to occupy Ukrainian territory and warned that Moscow's response would be instant if anyone tried to interfere. Explosions have been heard in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, from where our diplomatic correspondent Paul Adams sent this report. The first explosions were heard here in Kiev shortly after five in the morning. There were four or five muffled and distant. Others followed soon afterwards. The most recent sounded closer, but still not in the city centre. An advisor at the Interior Ministry said that crews and ballistic missiles had been used and that airfields and military headquarters had been hit. Ukraine's airspace has been closed. Some said they could hear jets overhead. Other reports of explosions have been coming in from across Ukraine, including the eastern city of Kharkiv, and the town of Kramatorsk, close to areas controlled by pro-Russian separatists. The Interfax Ukraine news agency has reported that Russian troops have landed in the port cities of Odessa and Mariupol in the south. President Putin made his announcement while the United Nations Security Council was holding an emergency session in New York to discuss the crisis. The Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, described the Russian offensive as the saddest moment of his time in office. He appealed to Mr. Putin not to start what he said could be the worst war since the beginning of the century. Representative after representative called on Russia to stop. Among them was the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Linda Thomas-Greenfield. Return to your borders. Send your troops and your tanks and your planes back to their barracks and hangars. And send your diplomats to the negotiating table. Back away from the brink before it is too late. The UK's permanent representative, Dame Barbara Woodward, also called on Moscow to step back from war. A full-scale conflict in a country of 44 million people will bring immense suffering, casualties on both sides, and devastating humanitarian consequences. The world is calling for peace, but Russia is not listening. President Biden has said the world will hold Russia accountable for its unprovoked and unjustified attack on Ukraine. In a statement, he accused President Putin of a premeditated war that would lead to a catastrophic loss of life. Mr. Biden said he would hold a virtual meeting with G7 leaders later this morning before announcing what he described as further consequences for Moscow. Our correspondent David Willis is in Washington. President Biden is monitoring the situation from the uh, White House this evening. He's getting regular updates from his national security team. And um, he'll meet with G7 counterparts, this statement says, in the morning and then speak directly to the American people to announce further consequences that the United States and its allies will impose on Russia. The NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said Russia's actions were a grave breach of international law which put countless civilian lives at risk. He said the reckless attack represented a serious threat to Euro-Atlantic security and NATO allies would meet to decide their response. 
The president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, also said Moscow would be held accountable. She tweeted that her thoughts were with the innocent women, men and children of Ukraine. Boris Johnson has promised the UK and its allies will respond decisively to Russia's unprovoked attack. The Prime Minister said he was appalled by the horrific events in Ukraine and had spoken to the country's president to discuss next steps.